Yeah, I sat for a long time on um, on 8th Avenue, which is the busy street here, just sitting on a bench with my pipe, and, a, and every couple of minutes, running a flame through it, you know, letting the smoke go, and you know, looking at the reactions of the people. There was the odd, well, one in particular, older couple that walked by, and she looked just disgusted. Oh my God! You were smoking cannabis. I don't even know if she knew what I was smoking, right? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Excellent. You know the laws 20. have fallen, eh? The what? The cannabis laws, laws the are dead. The laws are, are, are falling in Canada again. There's, there's, no, there's no prohibition on cannabis. cannabis in Canada at this point. point. Well, no, tell you, is that right? That's yeah. your story? Yeah. Tell your yeah. friends today? No, no, this went down in June with the courts. Yeah. That uh, cannabis went dead. And then the uh, judge had said a couple of weeks that he'd give the government to appeal it. They didn't appeal it. It's dead. It's over. Dead. Well, they have to the now re-legislate or reenact some legislation that allows for access medicinally for cannabis for some people yeah. and makes other people yeah, criminals. Medical. And uh, that's a very difficult thing to do yeah, because it's, never, it's and ludicrous won't. and immoral to begin with and it doesn't make any sense why people can't use what they want if it helps them in some way or even if it doesn't in some way. Yeah, yeah, they won't so. put the manpower in to fight it anyway. Well, right no. now, our cops, up until this happened, and even now, police are still arresting some people in Canada for cannabis offenses, but before the law fell, we were arresting more people in Canada for cannabis offenses than any other offense, which I find very offensive. I mean, it's not something that any other citizen would ever do, is intervene and say, hey, you know, stop smoking that, I'm going to arrest you to the ground. Well, that's what our police have been doing. So it was ludicrous to begin with. Yeah. And But it, they were, it has been sustaining this whole groups of cops and people working in courts and people working in the, in the prison systems, they're paying their mortgages on the backs of people that are using using drugs in our society. So yeah, yeah, they don't have the manpower to arrest everybody and to, you know, to make sure that nobody can ever use it, but all the manpower they got is being used to make criminals out of these people to pay the mortgages of those people that are involved in the manpower that they do have. So, you know, it's time we stopped doing that and found other jobs for these people. There's just not that many people. Canada are actually criminals. I love the fact that you smoke down the street. I love the fact that you the rallies and Prince of Pot of Canada is going to be here on the 15th and 16th, and we'll be doing lots of that. Yeah. Down at City Hall at the local head shops. When I was sitting on the park bench, or on the bench, not the park bench, on 8th Avenue. Anyway, go ahead, John. Sorry. When I was sitting on the bench there and I was watching the reactions, you know, there was the one old couple that didn't like it very much. But just about everybody else had good things to say. They, they would snicker or walk past and say, hey, Garpronica, oh, that smelled good. Yeah. Or, you know, lots of really good comments. And I was thinking, I would love to have some <coughs> undercover narcotics person sit with me on this bench while I smoke this and just pay attention to the reactions of Canadians as to, you know, how people really feel about this stuff. They, yeah. It's very rare when somebody is disgusted by it. The vast majority of people think, not only do they, do they accept it, they think it's pretty cool. They think it smells good. They think it's, it's yeah. a, like that guy, you know, he was thrilled that we were would be willing to do this on the streets. And I'm thrilled that he's thrilled. Dude, okay. Yeah, even though he's saying he doesn't assume, maybe he does, but because of the stick, but people are afraid to they are. say they do.